Gertrude, Gertie, Pookie, Calamity Jane, Captain Ahab, Buana, Mary, Queen of Scots. She was Arnold's grandmother, Phil's loving wife, the mother to Miles, and the co-owner of Sunset Arms. In this video, I'm going to analyze the life story of this free-spirited character, her eccentric personality, relationships, talents. I'm also going to explore whether I think Gertie was actually senile, or if I think she was just using her old age as an excuse for her actions. Pull on your rubber boots, boys and girls! It's gonna be a long night! Welcome to Dial Up Digest! If you want to watch videos all about TV shows from the 90s and 2000s, subscribe for new videos every Thursday. Grandma Gertie had a fun-loving personality and was always up for an adventure. Her lust for life also extended to her sense of fashion. Grandma was known for changing up her appearance depending on the occasion, but she did have a signature look. Grandma usually had her gray hair tied back and wore a short-sleeved green dress, a white apron, orange pants, and black shoes. This analysis of grandma's life story begins when she was a child. She grew up in Hillwood and attended the local school with Grandpa Phil and his sister Mitzi in the 1920s. Gertie had a crush on Phil when they were kids, and the way she showed her affection was through teasing him. Bang! <laughs> Seeing Gertie tease a young Phil reminded me of Helga when she would tease Arnold. The little troublemaker eventually ended up marrying Phil. Their first date was at the Circle Theater, where Dino Spumoni was performing. While not much is known about Gertie's life before she married Phil, she did mention that she used to work as a police officer. I'm the only ex-cop in this city crazy enough to take on a job like this. She and Phil eventually started their boarding house business, which became both of their careers. The couple seemed to have an egalitarian marriage, with both Gertie and Phil working to keep the boarding house running smoothly by sharing chores. Gertie and Phil had a pretty strong marriage, and they were both very much smitten with each other. Phil was more passive and conventional, so Gertie's eccentric ways did annoy him sometimes. But Gertie always stood by Phil's side. For example, she supported Phil's decision to go back to grade school as an elderly man and even helped him study. The couple together had one child, their son Miles. Because Miles disappeared, we didn't get to see what her relationship with him was like. But Grandma did seem supportive of Miles and Stella, considering she happily attended his wedding and raised his child, Arnold. Gertie and Arnold's relationship was the main focus of her character. This is, of course, because Hey Arnold is a show that revolves around Arnold and his life. Gertie helped raise Arnold and in doing so became like a mother figure in place of his actual mother. Say, giddy up! Giddy up! From the very beginning of her unexpected journey raising Arnold, she was energetic and optimistic. Her loving, positive, and upbeat personality helped to raise Arnold to become a kind and intelligent kid. Gertie was very passionate about fighting for what she thought was right. For example, in the episode Save the Tree, Grandma protests the chopping down of the oldest tree in the neighborhood. I think some of that ambition rubbed off on Arnold. For example, in the episode titled Field Trip, Arnold sees an unhappy turtle named Lockjaw at the aquarium and then later discusses it with his grandmother. Gertie is outraged upon hearing about the turtle and his living conditions, which prompts the pair to go on a mission to release Lockjaw. Gertie wasn't just physically present for Arnold, she was also emotionally there for him when he needed her support or sympathy. And Arnold was there for his grandmother as well. In the episode The Old Building, Arnold and his grandmother worked together to stop the demolition of Circle Theatre, which had a special place in her heart. It appears that Grandma felt it was important to preserve and respect anything in her city that was old. Perhaps this was because she was old herself, being over 80 years old, and felt connected to other parts of the city that had also lived a long life. Gertie didn't really interact with the other boarders unlike Phil. 
But Grandma did have one memorable exchange with Ernie. Stop, Stop it! it. You knocked knock down, down the Statue, Statue of Liberty, Liberty if you got, got a gray hair. hair! You'd save a pile of dog droppings on the street if George Washington once stepped in it. Come here and say that, demolition man! Yeah? You want a piece of this? Oh yeah, you homewrecker! Grandma was very passionate when she felt strongly about something, which sometimes made her stubborn. She was always enthusiastic when initiating plans, but that didn't mean she always followed through. When Arnold's grandma wasn't going on rescue missions, she was very active. She played baseball, hockey, and she was a martial artist. Grandma was also talented musically. She could play the piano and the ukulele. Gertie was the cook for Sunset Arms. She loved cooking pancakes, but her propensity to think outside the box also led her to cook some more unsavory dishes as well. Pookie, peanut butter and straw! It's, it's an, an old, old family, family recipe! Yeah. <laughs> At this point, we can say that Gertie was a talented, active, creative, and passionate grandmother who fought for what she believed in and stood by those she cared about. But was Arnold's grandmother not just energetic and spontaneous, but actually senile? Was her old age causing her erratic behavior, or was she just using her age as an excuse to do whatever she wanted to do? This was something I wondered about when I was watching Hey Arnold as a kid. Arnold's grandmother did some pretty strange things, like mix up holidays, causing her to dress up and celebrate a different holiday than what everyone else was celebrating. She took swatting flies very seriously. But right now, we've got a bigger problem. Come here, man-eater. Guana's got some medicine for you. And just generally seemed a little off. This all may suggest to some that maybe there was an issue with her mental health that caused her peculiar behavior. But I would argue that grandma's actions do not show that she was challenged mentally, but rather the opposite. Her seemingly crazy missions she went on to release the turtle, or stage a protest, or find her husband's lost car took a great deal of mental processing to plan and execute successfully. She ended up freeing the turtle, saving an old tree, and finding her husband's car due to her own clever thinking. Because she behaved with charisma and enthusiasm, it is easy to dismiss her as a quote-unquote crazy old lady, but I think Gertie was very intelligent. Sure, she did seem confused when it came to holidays. Yippee! I saw my shadow! And you know what that means? We know, Pookie. Twelve more days of Christmas. Or taking messages from her voicemail machine. But I think most of the time, she was just using her age as an excuse to do whatever she wanted to do. Maybe it was fun for her to be different and stand out. She probably knew others could dismiss her actions because of her age, so maybe she used that assumption to her advantage. There was even a time when Gertie did behave quote-unquote normally. We saw this in the episode Heat. I can't stand it, Arnold. It's hotter than blazes. I'm a grandma with a husband, a young grandson, and a boarding house full of people to be responsible for. Oh, this heat is so crazy, it's got grandma acting normal. The heat definitely got to her. I think this scene shows how grandma really wasn't senile. She was perfectly capable of having a calm and coherent conversation. I think she just chose not to most of the time because it was just more fun. Why be boring and just like everyone else when you can behave as you wish and get away with it? Grandpa, why do we go along with Grandma's 4th of July plan every year? It's just to have a, a regular Thanksgiving? Well, we could, but then we'd be like everyone else. What fun would that be? So that brings us to the end of my Hey Arnold character analysis of Grandma Gertie. What do you think of Arnold's grandmother? Do you think she was actually senile? Or was she just using her old age as an excuse? Well, I've got just one thing to say about that. When life gets you down, wearing a frown, don't look away, look up. Cause memory's true, come out of the blue, you know the way, look up. Come on, Arnold! Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at dialupdigest.
Until next time, my friends, dialing out.